Hello guys, Middleton and Place here, and welcome to my tutorial video on how to install UI Cheats extension mod for The Sims 4. Okay, so I hope everyone is doing alright today. If you're not, then I do hope that tomorrow will be better for you. Um, so, this is literally probably one of my must-have mods for The Sims 4. Um, I can't play without it. <laughs> um, on the description, you know, it does explain, like, you know, the, like, the functions that this mod, well, includes. Um, but the one that stands out to me most is the clickable and draggable ch um, needs cheat. So, as you, if you remember from The Sims 3, um, if you, of course, um, you know, put in testing cheats enabled true, um, and of course, if you wanted to drag um, a Sims hunger up, then you could. Um, of course, it's not actually in, like that's not available in The Sims 4 at the moment, which I do hope it will be added in the future. Um, but Weirbazoo, I'm hoping I say that username right. <laughs> um, but he basically made a mod back in 2015 now, um, so it is nearly like four years old, which, wow. <laughs> um, and uh, it's just... It's just, I don't know, I just love this mod and I'm so grateful that he made it um, because it's just, you know, it's just a lifesaver. So I'm going to be showing you how you install it because um, I do know there are some people out there who, of course, don't know how to install mods. Um, so hopefully this tutorial will explain, um, well, explain it well for you guys. So, um, so basically what you do, I'm going to link this in the description for you guys. So of course you can just click on it without having to search it for yourself. Um, so basically what you do when you get on to this page is you go down to your files and you go down to this version, which the latest version is the 21st of December, 2018. Um, so it's UI cheats extension version one, point 12 zip so basically what you do is you click that there we go um so it's now downloaded and let me just go on to show in folder let me bring it on to this screen if it will let me <laughs> okay there we go um so as you can see it's now in my downloads um so basically what you do of course um you will need to in well have wimra installed um, to be able to, you know, open this, um, open this file, um, but I've, there should be, the Wimra tutorial that I've done should be up before this video goes up, so I'll link that in the video, um, in the description as well for you guys, um, you know, to help you set up Wimra, and then of course you can, um, you know, use it to open up this mod. Um, so basically what you do is just double click on it um, to open up the package. So it is, so it will contain a package file and also a script um, file. Um, so basically what you do is, I mean, you could do, do um, control and then basically just click on these two. So keep your hand on control and once you've selected them, you can take your hand off control so what you do is um, you either well right click on either one it doesn't matter really so right click and go down to extract to a specified folder so click that and then what you do is go to your documents um, electronic arts the sims 4 mods and you basically, I mean, the mods folder should be there, I think, but if not, then create one, just name it mods like that. Um, and basically it creates new folder and name it UI extension. Um, of course, I do already have the UI extension installed, so I'll just go down to it to show you. So as you can see, it is here. Um, so I'm just going, so of course, if you do create a new folder, so create new folder, put in UI extension and then once you, well enter, you know for it to be named that, then click on the folder that you've just created. So there we go, Just I'm clicking on it, didn't mean to do that. Press OK, of course I already have it installed, so press yes um, to both. Well, I mean, you shouldn't have that, but 
of course if you want to replace it then of course press yes um, and then when you go into game um, I'll just quickly show you the settings you need to have enabled um, for the mod to work okay guys so I'm now in game and basically what you need to do is go to your options menu go to game options and then go down to other and then enable custom content and mods and also script mods allowed so when you of course open up your game you should have like the like a custom content menu of things that have well like cc or mods that you've installed or that are installed correctly so this is what should come up when you first open up your game of course i have quite a lot of custom content and the ui extension um it will tell you let me just quickly see if it's on this one um there we go so as you can see um i mean i have quite a few mods <laughs> um so it will be on well, i mean it's classed as a script mod and for you to know if it's you know installed correctly then it should be on here so it should be at the bottom and it should be you know ui cheats extension script so that means it's installed okay so with what i said about draggable needs i'll just quickly show you what i mean if you don't if you didn't know what i meant um so with draggable needs and all that so example if the bladder was like you know really low and if i don't know your sim was at school or if they were busy doing something and they you know didn't have time don't have time to go to the toilet then of course you can just i don't know just click wherever you want it to go up to and there we go so basically that's what part of the ui extension mod does so i really do hope that this tutorial helped you out if you have any questions and of course please comment them and i will try my best to get back to you um but yeah please give this video a big fat thumbs up please subscribe please comment and i hope to see you again next time bye guys